Hello, members of the void. I am the Black Onyx, and welcome back to Amnesia the Dark Descent. Last time we were here, we broke a door and the chair disappeared. Alright, so I want to go. Let's go into the laboratory first. He fell to the kitchen floor. Tears were beginning to well in his eyes as he received the first kick in his stomach. Hazel remained hidden in fear she too would be punished. What happened? Oh, I hear stuff. Excuse me? That wasn't anything. That didn't do nothing. Oh, I'm so sorry. That... That still didn't do anything. What? Is there something behind here? Nothing. There's nothing behind anywhere anymore. Where'd that go? The frick was that? Okay, look. Look. If I don't see... What is happening? Oh my god, I've got blood in my eyes. Okay, look. 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 If I... Look, I'm not going to be scared unless I see a monster running at me trying to tickle my nipples, okay? That's the only way it'll scare me. Unless jump scares and stuff would take that too. Something here. I don't even think I'm going to ever use these. That's terrifying. Let me down there. Flashback. There should be more Kubrak. Let me see. Let me see. And one part, Aquaforce. What are you trying to make, buddy? Something in here. I see you. Playing hide and seek. Chemistry pot. Early alchemy experiment. This is my third time to produce artificial vitae. The former compounds like potency I need, but I sense I'm close. Calamine and orpiment are given and the cuprite binds them well. This time I will attempt aqua regia instead of aqua fortis and hope it will produce a more even solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acid and proves impractical to put to any use except as a detergent. Organic tissue reacts especially violently to the solution and should be handled with the greatest care. I might be able to use a recipe, but I'm losing hope that I will find an alchemy uh, al alchemic solution in my predicament. I can't read. I read at second grade level. Hey! I didn't actually think there would be anything in there. Oh, oh, I see you. What is this? Oh my! One day I'll return. If it wasn't for the thought of you, my love, I wouldn't be able to go on. When I find myself doing terrible things, I take comfort in you. As long as I, as long as I am able to think of you and long for a life together, I know I'm burdening the others. I weep for them. They lust for power without restraint, where I only crave fair judgment and a safe return. That was interesting. Can I break a door again? That was fun. I enjoyed that, like, a lot. Should I censor this? 
Here. You two have fun. Ooh, more oil oil. Well, thank you. It's no fun when they don't break. The lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiments has taken its toll on on many of my less stable and recent storage. Some seem unaffected, but many sta but many are stained by the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can, move them to the wine cellar. Wine cellar. Nothing ever, nothing good like ever happens there. I've been writing stuff down. I haven't been checking it. Chemical ingredients. <laughs> Powerful acid. I'm assuming I need that to uh, get rid of the stuff. Dysentery. Dude! People can break dance in this. How much more oil do we got? I am running out quick. Should probably try to. The door slammed shut behind him and he knew he would never again see the old tailor at Berkeley Square. Another alone soul in London seemed appropriate somehow. I really... Is that voice annoying? Is that is that a good reading voice or am I just speaking words? <laughs> well, where the frick do I get the key? I didn't see a key down there. Or did I miss it? I don't know, did I? Did I miss it? I don't think I did. Wood. Where does this go? Archives. Is this the archives? It's the archives. Okay, go in here. Traveling to Dover meant going through Canterbury. He made sure to pay his visit to avoid the sense of guilt connected with neglect of family. Didn't I already read that? Did I already read that? Maybe I should bring the mic like really close to my face when I read. Get like more. Thank you. Jesus, that took way too long. Did I do this? Did I do this? What the hell was that? Did I do this? I think I did this. <laughs> and you wouldn't see a chair either. You wouldn't see a chair. To have done this because it's a fa. <laughs> oh my god. Black Onyx. Perfect chair destroyer. <laughs> oh my. I love it. I love this game. So great. 16th of May, Go ahead 1839. Read. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, Tin -tin? the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought, and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Thank you for reading that. Is there something in here? Ooh! Other umber. I'm taking this chair with me. These chairs are like my best friend. See? Look at that! What the fuck? You, my friend, are amazing. Alright, I want to close these doors because I don't know if there's a monster in here or not. Excuse me, glitchy chair. Oh, hello. Wow, you just came rolling out, didn't you? I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander, Baron of Brandenburg. This contract will reign for a total of three years when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander, Baron of Brandenburg, 
is to recommend my services at the Prussian Pr Prussian Royal Court and within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break the seal. Wilhelm, House of Garrick. Wilhelm. Maybe I really should stop reading in that voice because that's like. Where to go? Hey. I'm almost out of oil. Catalogs. That is spelled weird. That is spelled British. Excuse me. Somebody singing over here? Hmm. Guess not. Okay, I really do have to like start saving my oil because I am like wasting waste. Excuse me. Excuse me, friend. Do you have the time? Hold on. Hey. Nothing. Seventeenth of May, eighteen thirty-nine. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. Did you guys hear a door? I just heard a door. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. That spelled weird. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Dude, cliffhanger. Oh, cliffhanger. Oh, cliffhanger. Oh my God, is that the chair? Is that the chair? I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you have. I'm sorry, but you have ten to live. Ten what? Nine. <laughs> what is this? Old tombs. Sounds lovely. Open. What the frick is going on in here? Don't you frick with me. I've got a chair. I will freak you up. So I will glitch the chair inside of you. Don't you even... Don't you even mess with me. Hey. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to use my tender boxes. Legit. I'm gonna try to use my tender boxes because, dude, I swear. Chairs. Oh my chairs. Chairs are gonna be my greatest friend, greatest enemy. Best friend, greatest enemy. Is that? Yeah, that's how it goes. It's over here. I think I'm gonna uh, go for like a 20 minute, 30 minute episode. Maybe, I don't know. I don't wanna stop playing, so, you know.
How's my sanity doing? That's apparently a big part in this. Don't you freaking do that to me. I've got a chair. I've got a chair. Don't you freak with me. That oil. That is oil. Thank you. Rolls of paper? I am so sorry, what am I doing wrong? Eh. Eh. I can I can make it up. 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 I would laugh so hard if I accidentally No. No. Okay. Oh my. Oh my. Oh I'm dead. 17th of May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. That's going off the I last one. The ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. Oh, am I playing? My weakened body Damn. was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. Dead light. Don't tell me that's it a dead light. Was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. Feel the power! A faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. I take the counter. next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. They actually took geometry, so, you know. <laughs> is it really impossible? Impossible? How is my sanity doing? Only a slight headache, and I am tipsy. Does that make sense? I don't know. I don't know what that's about. What is this about? Fragile and not breakable by hand. All right, I'll do something with that later. Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives. It won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. All right, so they so so they knew the shadow was coming. They're trying to prepare. Ooh, lag burst. Okay, so that is not breakable by hand, but by chair. Is it breakable by chair? Glitchy chair. Glitchy chair. Hey, don't do this now. Oh. I wasn't done with you. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Hey, it is breaking my hand. What the frick are you talking about? Oi. Oh my, backflips. You have to be swift. When you activate the first one, you hear that? If it stops, 
you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful with that. Puzzle time or what? Otherwise it wouldn't really show me that now, wouldn't it? Here's some sort of email. I'm gonna use tinder boxes because I don't wanna waste my uh, lantern trying to do this. I must have gotten like a really glitchy copy of Amnesia or something. Really glitchy download. Because I am this is spazzing out. Alright, I wanna play to do this place really lit up. <laughs> I wanna play this strategically, so there's the first one. Is that the... No. The fr oh, hey, no. Altstadt and Brandenburg Castle, 1801. Another region rich with lore is Astalt, deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries, there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brandenburg. The castle with four clad mountains, dressed with scattered lakes, is a picturesque as can be. Albeit, the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some motifs that keep reappearing. Oh my. The Gatherers. After this, I have to end the episode. The Gatherers. This story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies wrought by their talent, by their tainted souls have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling deep inside damp burlap sacks dragged behind them which reveal the presence which starts uh, Oh my. Alright. If you wanna I'm I'm gonna read this off camera, but if you wanna read this, pause here and pause here. Because I'm dude, this will probably take you know, another two minutes, I don't want to do that. So, uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, hit that like button, you know, do whatever you want to do, and, um, I will see you guys later.